The recent news that everyone's been buzzing about is the divorce of Tina Knowles and Richard Lawson. It's been making headlines all over, even though they tried to keep it under wraps. But you know how gossip spreads like wildfire. And now we've got the inside scoop on what really went down between these two lovebirds. So grab a seat and get ready to hear the tea, because Richard Lawson is about to spill it all, and it's definitely a heart-wrenching tale. Let's talk about Tina Knowles first. You probably know her as the amazing mom of the one and only Beyonce. She's a real boss lady, too, with her own successful business ventures. But one thing she's always made clear is that she doesn't need a man to define her worth or independence. And you know what? That's totally cool and empowering. But here's where things took a turn. Throughout their relationship, Tina seemed to take that independence stance to a whole new level, and she didn't hold back when it came to expressing it. She insulted and belittled Richard time and time again, which is a real bummer to say the least. No one likes to be treated like that, especially by someone they care about deeply. Now, let's delve into why Richard calls the whole situation the sad truth. You see, it's not easy when the person you love and care for the most continuously puts you down. So, Richard has decided it's time to share his side of the story to set the record straight on what really happened between them. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly did Richard reveal? Well, you'll have to stay tuned to find out the nitty-gritty details. I envisioned the type of man I wanted. I prayed for the type of man I wanted, and I got pretty much that. Is he perfect? Absolutely not. But, you know, no. he has a lot of the qualities. No. no. He has a lot of the qualities that, uh, that I love, and we're having a really good time, and I'm enjoying life. So Remember how we all cheered when Tina found love again after that roller coaster of a relationship with her ex-husband, Matthew, who just happened to be the father of the music queen, Beyonce? Well, buckle up, because there's a lot more to this story than meets the eye, and Tina's not as innocent as we thought. Now, before we dive into Richard and Tina's love story, let me fill you in on Tina's past relationship with Matthew. It all began back in the groovy 70s when Tina and Matthew crossed paths in Houston. Matthew was fresh out of college, armed with a business degree, and Tina was hustling in sales. Sparks flew, and before they knew it, they said, I do, in 1980. Sounds like a fairy tale so far, right? A year after their wedding, the dynamic duo welcomed the one and only Beyonce into the world. Five years later, the family grew with the addition of Solange in 1986. Things were on the up and up, and in 1990, Matthew co-founded Destiny's Child, originally called Girls' Time, in Houston, featuring none other than Beyonce, Kelly Rowland, Latavia Robertson, and Latoya Luckett. Destiny's Child became an unstoppable force with Beyoncé, Roland, and Michelle Williams, signing with Columbia Records in 1997, all while Matthew was at the helm as their manager until 2011. But after years of marriage, rumors swirled that Tina filed for divorce due to Matthew's infidelity with actress Alexandra White, who just happened to have a love child with him. And you might not know this, but after one year after she filed in 2009, it was canceled. Because apparently, she wants her old man back, despite him impregnating two other women. Ouch! But the reunion was short-lived, and in 2011, the divorce was finalized. Matthew didn't waste any time and found love again just two years later. But here's where it gets really juicy. Rumors are flying that Tina might have had her own trysts on the side. According to Beyonce's vocal coach from back in the day, Tina was getting cozy with none other than Richard Lawson long before the divorce papers were even a thing. And apparently, Tina admitted that Richard and Matthew were friends back in the day. So, isn't it intriguing that she talked to her husband's friend intimately? Back when they first met, Tina was still married to Matthew, and Richard was married to another actress named Denise Gordy. It seemed like an unlikely love story, especially since Tina was also his sister's best friend. Richard couldn't deny that he was struck by Tina's beauty, but she was married at the time, so he just admired her from afar. When Richard first met Tina, he thought she was reserved and didn't say much. He even thought she was shy. But as he got to know her better, he realized she was actually a strong and powerful person. He described her as a real OG, like a gangster. Tina and Richard were close pals for more than 30 years, and guess what? Right after her divorce, Tina falls head over heels for him. Quite a fast turn of events, huh? Anyhow, they tied the knot in a fancy ceremony in California on April 12, 2015, 
together with Beyonce, Jay-Z, and then three-year-old baby Blue Ivy. Since then, they've been inseparable. Here's an interesting piece of trivia. Richard's presence at their wedding was quite miraculous. About 23 years before, he had a close call with death when he survived a plane crash. It was a U.S. Air Flight 405, and Richard's life was saved in an unexpected way. A ticket attendant recognized him and upgraded him to first class, and that decision may have saved him from when the plane crashed into Flushing Bay. Unfortunately, not everyone was as lucky, and many passengers and crew tragically lost their lives. Richard had a gut feeling that something was off before the flight, and he paid attention to it. As the plane took off, he noticed it wasn't gaining enough speed, and then it started breaking apart. It was a scary and life-changing moment for him, but he managed to survive by unfastening his seatbelt and swimming to safety. Being one of the 24 survivors was like a second chance at life for Richard. He knew he was fortunate, especially when he learned that the person who took the original seat in economy didn't make it. It was a rebirth for him, and he cherishes every moment since that fateful day. And it looks like he's trying to live his life again as he separates from Tina and leaves behind all the hardships he's gone through. Now, even though there's been no official confirmation, there are some intriguing clues about why they might have really separated. First things first, Tina made a notable change on her Instagram bio. She dropped the Lawson part and went back to being called Tina Knowles. Quite a noticeable switch, don't you think? And during Jay-Z's mother's wedding, Tina was present, but Richard was not in attendance. That raised some eyebrows for sure. Next up, Richard has been globetrotting promoting his new movie, Black Terror. It's his biggest project to date, and he's been traveling all over attending events like the Essence Festival and Cannes Film Festival to promote it. But here's the catch. Tina hasn't been by his side during any of this promotion. And to add fuel to the fire, Richard isn't wearing his wedding ring either. Last but not least, there have been talks of cracks in their relationship. It's like some people have noticed signs that things might not be all sunshine and rainbows for the couple. During a TV interview, Tina seemed to have a strong influence on Richard's opinions. It was an intense moment, according to some. So during this interview for the Black Love series on OWN, Tina spilled the beans about how Richard proposed and how she knew he was the one. Richard had an interesting way of proposing. He actually went and asked Tina's kids for their blessing before popping the question. He thought it was crucial because Tina's life revolves around her children, and he knew that he had no chance unless they were cool with it. Lucky for him, the kids were totally on board and super excited about the whole thing. Tina mentioned that she prayed for a man like Richard, but she also admitted he's not perfect. When he questioned her about it, she didn't back down and firmly said no. It was like she had a Nene Leakes moment, you know? I said what I said. Richard was totally taken aback, and the camera even caught his shocked expression up close. Is he perfect? Absolutely not. But, you know, no. he has a lot of the qualities. No. no. He has a lot of the qualities that, uh, that I love, and we're having a really good time, and I'm enjoying life. So Some fans were really upset with Tina's words and how she handled the situation. They saw it as throwing some serious shade at Richard. One fan even commented, saying she openly disrespects him, denigrates him with slight little comments, and speaks over him when he's trying to make a point. Best thing for him if they do split. He won't suffer. Back in the day, Richard Lawson was in the same league with women as Billy D. Williams, primarily all over television. He won't have any problem finding another woman. Another fan joined in and said that, I mean, she spoke to the man publicly like he was a pet. The disrespect was crazy from the jump. She doesn't look like she's easy to get along with. It seems like Richard has reached his limit with all the mean comments Tina has been making. If she's willing to humiliate him in public, who knows how she behaves in private? Well, let's hear your thoughts, too. Do you think Tina has been shady throughout their relationship? Share your comments below. And while we wait for more updates, check out the next video where we uncover even more surprising details.